In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up dark mode in Nux 3 using Tailwind CSS in the color mode module. Let's get into it. One of the quickest ways to get dark mode working in Nux 3 is to install the Nux.js Tailwind module along with the Nux.js color mode modules. I'll have those commands linked in the description. Once you have those modules installed as dev dependencies, you'll want to create a tailwind.config.js file. In that file, use module exports and you'll set the property dark mode to class. If you're unfamiliar with Tailwind, don't worry, it's very easy. If you want to set a property specific for dark mode, all you have to do is prefix it using dark and a colon. Once you have that, if dark mode is toggled, then whatever property you set here will be set. So in order to make this work in Nux 3, we're going to need to add a few things to our Nux config. We'll start by listing Tailwind CSS and the color mode as modules. Following that, we'll create a color mode property and have the class suffix equal to a empty string. This is very important if you want to be able to use dark mode like this. Also, you'll add in these following properties for Tailwind CSS, and we'll need to create this Tailwind CSS file in our assets slash CSS directory. So in assets CSS, create a Tailwind file, which will look like this. We'll simply add the necessary modules to get everything working. Now let's head on over to the app.view. Notice the script tag has a setup and language property. So we'll want to create a type of theme and we'll have the options of light and dark. Next, we'll create a function and we'll use that module that we installed earlier, that color mode module, and we'll set that preference to whatever um, value we give to the new theme parameter. Notice the type corresponds to the type we just created. And that's actually it for this setup. Now let's get started on the template. We'll start out by adding the template tags and a wrapper div. Notice the dark attribute here. When dark mode is toggled, then this class will be active. So anywhere you want to add a specific class for dark mode, simply prefix it with dark and a colon. And anywhere you see that, you'll know that that is the case. We've created this nav bar, and you'll see also here, only when it's dark mode do we want the background to be Slate 900. Let's add some links and check out what we got so far. So now we have these links and this picture. This logo here is what you see here. And notice that I have it set at the root. The image is actually here in the public image directory. And whenever you have something in the public directory in Nux3, you can just use simply use the backslash without a tilde, and that will be the correct way to do it. If you try to use a tilde, or also if you have public here, then you'll get some nasty errors in the logs. We need to set up a couple of buttons, and now we have it looking like this. Next, we'll add a button so that we can toggle the dark mode and we will have a click listener and it will call that function that we had just set up. This function that we just set up, this set color theme, is what we are calling and we are checking. Is the preference dark? If it is, we're going to set it to light. If it's not, we're going to set it to dark. So basically that's a ternary use to set a toggle. Now we'll add a couple of SVGs. If it is already dark, then we will want this moon here. This SVG is a moon and let's check that out. See, we can already see it. And if it's not dark mode, we're going to want a sun. So let's check that out. And now we can toggle that. Beautiful. And last but not least, let's add in a body and we'll simply say Nux dark mode is easy. You have done that yourself. You now know how to set up dark mode in Nux. If you learned something, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use Nux on the client and the server side, so a full stack Nux application tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.